Hi, Chris here for Tank Attack and welcome to the channel. And today I show you how to do the calculation and to apply home slow into a circuit. So let's get started now. Today's lesson combines my previous Arduino video and we will use all that we learned so far to create the circuit and collect data from it. If you have not done so, make sure you watch the previous tutorial, especially the one on Ohm's law and serial port. As you can see, those are the ones I'm using here because it will be easier for you to follow today's video unless of course you know it and need just a refresh on it. So by drawing a circuit schematic with two resistors and removing the background like so, we already know that the power is 5 volt, but we do not know anything about the resistor here. So we can name them R1 and R2 for now. For this example, we will utilize the most common used resistor that you should have if you already buy the Arduino kit as I suggested in one of my other videos. And those are the 220 ohm and the 1k ohm resistor. Let me know in the comments down below to know more about resistors. I already mentioned in my Arduino series as well in a previous video. Or you can find a chart like this one or even an online calculator such as resistorcalculator.com. Simply look in the description down below. I will leave a link for your convenience. Now, while it's true that until now we saw how to calculate the resistance for one resistor only, why do I put two in this circuit? And how to calculate that? Don't worry, I'll guide you through. Basically, as long as the resistor and or the load are in the same closed loop, we can add the resistances together. So for our example here, we can calculate it like this. The equivalent resistance is the sum of those resistances. We will say that the resistance R, but we want a sum of it, so we will call it RS, it's equal to R1 plus R2, which gives us RS, it's equal to 220 plus 1000, the sum of those is 1220 ohms. So now we will use Ohm's law to calculate the current. We then simply need to apply the corresponding equation, which is I, it's equal V over R. But we do not forget that we are doing per sum here. So we write, instead of R, we will write RS. And this, in terms, is I equal 5 over 12,020. And this gives us this number. <laughs> in amps, of course. But it is common, especially if you are not doing wiring in your house and using microcontrollers, to use milliamps. So as you know, we are going down 1000 to have milliamps and this gives us 4.1 milliamps. That we can now apply to our circuit. But where should it go, you will ask? Remember, we are calculating the currents as the amps. If you are lost here, then we have the voltage, the current and the resistance here. So, there it goes. Of course, we also want to know what is the voltage after R1 and likewise after R2. Then, to help us calculate those, we will call our voltage V1 and V2. Now, to calculate them, we match R1 with V1 and R2 with V2. This in turn gives us V1 is equal I multiply by R1 and this gives us 4.1. We know that already, we did it. And V2 is equal I multiplied by R2, which is equal 0.9. And do you notice that if you had the two voltages together, the sun gives us 5 volts? Yes, that's correct. This is another way to see if our calculations are correct and confirm what we learned previously too. Now, I wonder if you will be able to do yourself the calculation with a 330 ohm as well as a 100 ohm resistors. Let's put your answers in the comment down below to see if you understood. Okay, my head spins already and will explode soon. That's enough for the theory. That is it for today. And just to let you know, I started the Patreon where if you want, you can support me. And again, if you enjoy it, you know what to do. You can do your YouTube things like if you want to subscribe, you may as well. Or you can also press the bell icon if you want to be notified every time I post a new video. However, if you do not like this video, simply leave a comment down below and tell me why it's so good. 
I will try to improve for you guys. Stay safe and bye now!